This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Being out of Cleveland, we don't typically get up in that area, so I'd have to check with dispatch on that. Um, so on that regional OTR, so I was going to give you an overview. So for our OTR lane, we have um, Ohio, Florida, Texas. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Shout out to you, Michael, for suggesting that uh, call to Moeller Trucking. We're going to have to talk about it, bro. Uh, We're going to have to talk about it. How how long have you been driving for this company, man? Uh, uh, since June uh, of this year. And, um, you know, so far I've been, I've been thoroughly impressed, you know. Since June of this year you've been working for them? Yes, sir. How did you come across them? Well, my uh, well, the first time I ran into him when I was down in uh, Fort Worth, because pretty much the company other companies working for was pretty much delivered to the same uh, uh, cold storage down there in uh, Fort Worth. Uh, my wife, she just uh, graduated medical school, and she got uh, selected to a program uh, for her residency up in Ohio, and I was like, oh, okay. And, um. You know, started kind of doing a little research on them. Uh, they're about an hour, their terminal up in Ohio is about an hour away from where I live in Dayton. And, uh, you know, and I started, uh, I called and I spoke with uh, Caitlin from Human Resources. And, you know, she was telling me, you know, the whole, the whole spiel, what they always give you and, you know, and two, I looked at all their reviews. I could hardly find a negative review about the company. And also, I talked to one of the drivers of the company. He was just telling me how good they were. He's been on for like 7, 15, 17 years, something like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, you know. And um, man, just, they're just they're just straight up, man. They don't feed you no BS, and you know they run you. I mean. Um, Home time, they'll give you home time. They'll accommodate you. I mean, they're they're a very good company. And it's, I've worked with some trash companies, and I was even kind of skeptical about kind of putting these guys up on a pedestal too soon because it all you know how it always starts out during the honeymoon period, like oh yeah, this is a great company, blah blah. And then after a while, you start seeing the, seeing them for the trash that they really are. But man, I've been with these guys since June, man, and uh, I, I, I I all I have to say is I'm thoroughly impressed. And nothing nothing negative I can say about them. Nothing negative to say about them. So let's break it down for a little bit because I did get finished talking to the uh, to the young lady. Shout out to her for the information. Uh, which way did you went as far as uh, as far as getting on with them? Because she said what they offer is uh, one package was over the road at fifty three cent a mile, um, and then the other and the other package was with insurance it is two hundred and fifty dollars a day without insurance is two uh, without insurance is two hundred and sixty dollars a day so which which uh which which route did you take with them? Uh, no okay I, I did be without insurance because my wife has to get uh coverage for our family where she works at that so I, I without insurance it's like uh per mile with insurance it's like 53 cents per mile um i i did 250 a day that's not, I, I, I never heard anything about that uh before but you know even at 55 cents per mile these guys if you want to run 3,000 miles per week they definitely got to work for you you know so you you went with the um so you went with the over the road side. So you you getting fifty five cent a mile without insurance uh, because your your wife got you guys covered. Right, right. So for me being up in uh in Cleveland, she says that you know she will have to talk to you know the dispatch to see if you know if I'm able to uh you know get home. But you being in Dayton, you're not that far from them. How often are you getting home? Uh, as much as I want to. If I want to be home every week, uh, I could be home every week. 
what they'll do is they'll they'll start me off, you know, Ohio, probably run me down to Texas, bring me around to Florida and back to Ohio. You can literally be home. You can literally get three thousand miles a week and be home every day, you know, if you want to. You know, so it really depends on you. They don't try to press you or force you. You know, they pretty much ask you how you want to run, and they take it from there. How are you getting along with your with your dispatchers? Oh man, you know it's most of those guys are family. They're all pretty much <laughs> half the people in the office are related to each other, but there is no issues there. I mean, I get along great, uh, you know, with everyone. You know, I, there's never no point of contention or no hostility or frustration. You know, they they're pretty, they're pretty good, man. They're pretty good at what they do. I myself kind of had some reservations with, you know, with the conversation and and what she was saying that, you know, she was offering. Pretty much I was I was, you know, kind of taken aback as far as the insurance and the no insurance and then mm-hmm. the and then the regional package that they're, you know, that mm-hmm. they're now offering. You know, you you mentioned that that they you you're not familiar with that. But I, I'm assuming, I guess they just now starting that side package, I guess. But you as you as a driver, you've been there since uh, since the last part of this year. You're not having no problems. You uh, your settlements is good. Uh, have have they set you any? Have you have you been sitting? Have you been running consistently? What's what's the what's the oh, you man, know miles? You, you like? don't you don't. <laughs> I, I I literally run about uh, anywhere from the, at minimum maybe 250, 200, uh, maybe 2,500 to 2,750. But most of the time, I'm running 3,000 miles a week. So, and you don't do much hitting. You, I mean, there is some live loading and unloading, but you know, for the most part, you know, it's like 50 50 live load and unload and dropping hook. But you know, it's I've never been in, even with the live loading and unloading, it's, you know, I, you know it's, it's not an all day thing, you know, and if they, and you get paid detention. So if you do have to, you know, be there over your, you know, as long as you need to be, you know, so, I mean. Mo, what, how you pronounce the name? I, I'm probably might pronouncing it wrong. What, what, how you um, pronounce uh, it? Uh, uh, Moiler. 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 Moiler Trucking. Out of Marie. Uh, what is it, Marie Stein, Ohio? Ma- Maria Stein, Ohio, and they also got a terminal down in Winter Haven, uh, Florida. That's why I'm heading that way now. And uh, they're breaking ground on a 30-acre terminal. Uh, they're going to build right, like right down the street. Uh, so, okay. So yeah. she did mention that the that the miles are the miles and the freight is consistent. Do you do you agree with that? Oh, yeah, thoroughly. Yeah. You, there is never no, oh, we're short on loads or we, uh, you know, because they, they pretty much have the same customers, you know, and and it's it's very consistent, you know. Well, thank you very much, Mike, man. I really do appreciate the time for this special uh, MTC, man. Uh, guys, if you want to uh, know more about Moiler Trucking, stay tuned. So we are, I can actually look it up real quick here. It's about three and a half hours um, from Cleveland is where we're at. We're close to the Indiana border. Okay, so you guys are close to like Cincinnati pretty much so we're an hour north of dayton okay 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 that's off the so seven, i don't know if you're familiar with like off the or st mary's yep, yep not too far off that so oh, okay all right cool um so how much experience you guys are looking for so we require one year of tractor trailer experience pre-employment drug screening uh what do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both just urine do you guys accept sep drivers we do not okay okay um 
what what type so will i be running regional with you guys i mean well what you guys got and as far as that goes would i be able to get home every week so being out of cleveland we don't typically get up in that area so i'd have to check with dispatch on that um so on that regional otr so I was going to give you an overview. So for our OTR lane, we have um, Ohio, Florida, Texas is kind of our main three states that we go to, but it's not dedicated. So you still might do freight in like Indiana, Michigan, and Kentucky, um, really anywhere in that Midwest area. Um, so, and then the regional lane is mainly Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and Kentucky, just up in that, in that area. Um, so, as far as like the areas that we go, we do anything like west of Columbus and east of Indianapolis, um, southern Michigan, northern Kentucky. So that's what I have to check with, with dispatch just to confirm if we'd be able to get you home being up in Cleveland. Okay. Well I'm I'm familiar with those uh with those lanes. Can we take the trucks home? Yeah, so typically our regional guys do take their trucks home. It's just the fact of the matter that we probably wouldn't be able to get a load, like, to home for you and back out on the road. Um, like, you'd have to go to Columbus or um, like Michigan or something, something like that to get a load. So you'd be, like, bobtailing okay. pretty much, Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, that sounds good. All right. So you guys don't do you since you guys just do that little central area. Y'all do y'all don't do Canada or anything like that. We don't do Canada. We do get into the Carolinas and we do get into Illinois a little bit. Uh, mileage pay. So it depends. Um, if you're looking for the over the road lane, we do pay mileage. If you're looking for a regional, we pay a flat rate. What would be the rates for over the road and and regional? Yeah, so um, for the regional lane, we pay a flat rate of two hundred and fifty dollars a day if you need medical benefits. If you don't need medical, we pay two sixty five a day, um, which that equates to if you're on the two hundred and fifty dollar a day um, pay. That equates to about sixty-five thousand a year salary. Um, if you don't need medical and you're on the two sixty-five a day, that equates to about sixty-eight thousand a year. Um, if you're looking to do over the road, um, we do pay per mile. Our drivers average twenty-five hundred to three thousand miles per week, depending on home time. Um, and we pay fifty three cents per mile with benefits or fifty five with partial benefits. So the regional lanes settlements would look like twelve fifty a week, give or take? Correct. Correct. Uh, and is that for like five days? Yeah, it's for five days out. So, um, but if you're able to leave out on like a Sunday night or something like that, you'd still get paid that flat rate of two two fifty for that whole day, even though it's not technically a full day out. If that makes sense. You and for over the road uh, is fifty three cent. Is that is that starting pay regardless of experience? I mean, we do take experience into consideration. Um, we don't make a final decision on that until we see an application come through. Uh, how are the miles calculated? Uh, we, you already explained to me about, uh, you know, the flat rate for regional, but for over the road, how are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip or is it practical or actual miles driven? We pay city state to city state. So that's like zip to zip? Yeah. Yep. And again, you said I can, if I'm over the road, I can expect anywhere between 2,500 and 3,000 miles. Are are the miles consistent, you know? 
We are pretty consistent. Um, I'm afraid it's about 50% drop and hook. For over the road, um, how often can I get home over the road if I, if, if I decide to take that? Um, being out of Cleveland, we'd probably require a minimum of three weeks out at a time. What kind of equipment you guys run and what are they governed at? Um, our trucks are for Atlanta Cascadia's. They all have APs, inverters, and refrigerators. Um, they're governed at 68. Awesome. Cameras in the truck? Um, we do. They don't face the drivers. You did mention the benefits. Now, as far as the benefits uh, breakdown, uh, if I don't take if I don't take benefits, I will get paid a little bit more regional. And if I don't take and if I do take benefits, it will be a little bit less. Can you can you give me a little bit more detail on that? Because I, I mean, I'm I am looking for benefits, but I'm just trying to see whether or not if it's feasible. So I guess I'm not quite following. I mean, it's 53 cents per mile with benefits or 55 if you don't need. So it just depends whether or not you need medical. Um, so if you're looking, if you need medical, it's the 53 um, for OTR. And then um, for the regional, it's the 250 a day. Okay. So I, I guess what I'm asking is, is there any additional cost out of, out of my pocket for the benefits? Yeah, we offer, like, it's $30 a week. Um, we offer full medical at $30 a week. Yeah, see, that's that's what I mean. All right, so that's uh, yep. So that's just medical. Do you guys offer dental, vision? Yes, we offer dental, vision, and 401K with a company match as well. What about uh, team opportunities? Uh, if I decide to bring a team driver with me, do you guys have that or no? Yep, we do hire on teams. Uh, would the would the pay structure be different? Um, we do pay per mile. Um, each driver would average the two or the twenty five hundred to three thousand miles per week. Um, and as far as the pay, we pay between fifty six to sixty cents a mile. Okay. It is split mile pay. But it's split mile. Okay, that's that's what I mean. Back to the benefit question. When do they start? Um, they start the first of the month following your first full month with us. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my kid, my grandkid? Um, we do allow pets um, without an upfront deposit. Um, we do allow riders as well. They just have to be 12 years or older. Um, we, we don't have, like, a wait time for the rider policy. You just have to fill out paperwork. Uh, any sign-on bonuses or anything like that? No sign-on bonuses at this time. Well, ma'am, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. All right, you're welcome. You have a good day. You too now. Molar Trucking, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yo, we we gotta we gotta unpack this one, man. Listen, shout out to my man Michael for suggesting this call. Uh, another Ohio company, yes, sir. You always want to learn the companies that is in your area, so that when you're looking for a company close to home, or you can get home, or you want some more home time. Always look into the companies that are in your area. Molar Trucking out of Mary, Maria Stan, Ohio. It's about an hour from Dayton off the 75. She said it was about three hours away from me. And yes, I will be able to get home. But unfortunately, uh, regional, we're going to talk about that in a second. Regional won't exactly get me home every week, but OTR, they do require you to stay out for at least three weeks. 
Is that good for you? Now, I know some of you drivers want to get out here and just do the damn thing. Three weeks out, and I'm not sure how many days that you actually get at home. I I didn't actually ask that, but no. Uh, but three weeks out, is that good for you for being in a in the Ohio area? See, me personally, I'm I'm if I'm if I'm in the Ohio area, I'm kind of good, but. If that's the case, I would like to at least to see my home at least two, <laughs> two, at least four or five times out, two times out of the month, at least. That would be the least, you know, and the, they, they said the most is three weeks and you only get to see home like one, one time a month. Hmm. They offer low driver turnover. That that's the that's a pro. That's a good thing. This company has a very low turnover and they really don't have no bad reviews. I looked it up and majority of the reviews on here are good. Are good. So drivers are comfortable driving for this company. Now, there might be a little bit of caveat to to driving with this company, and we about to break that down right now, okay? So, if you decide to go regional and you don't want the medical benefit package, you would get $250 a day times five. That's that's $1,250 a week. Pay straight. That's it. That's all. Nothing more. Nothing less. Now, if you if you don't want the benefits, wait. I said if you don't want the benefits, yeah, I, I probably said that wrong. So, no benefits is two hundred and fifty. With benefit, no. No benefits is two hundred and sixty, and with benefits is two hundred and fifty. But you still have to pay at least $30 out of pocket for full benefits, medical, dental, vision, health, all that good stuff. Is that still good to you? I mean, if you're, if you're in the Dayton area, Cincinnati area, and you know, you probably might be, you know, just the driver that just want to get out there and just do a little bit of something that might work for you, but Will it work for a driver that's actually getting out there looking for, you know, chasing the bag, so they sort of say? What, what do you what do you guys think? Now, regional, you will start at 53 cent per mile. Same thing with team drivers, which is split. So if you start at 53 cent a mile, that will be split between the both of you. That's why I say you gotta you, you gotta do your research on on companies. Now, this is a good company. You know, a lot of drivers that drive for this company really don't have nothing bad to say about this company. I shouted out Mike. Mike said this is a good company, one of the best companies that he has drive for for a little bit. It works for him. But you gotta find a company that pretty much works for you. Okay? Now, uh, if molar trucking out of marysville not marysville maria stein ohio works for you then give them a try the information of i mean the information for this company is in the description below give them a call if you think that this will be a company for you all right shout out to the recruiter of human resources thank you very much for the information that you provided for us here at the recruiter call channel drivers get your suggestions in now for the next mtc you can do that by hit me up in the gmail that's lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com as always leave it in the comments below who would you like to see next and if you like to support the calls because the calls are not sponsored you can do that by the cash app dollar sign lockout men let us know in the notes who you would like to call and you will receive a shout out for that call thank you very much for listening i appreciate it i 
am Lockout Man, and this is the MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next? Next?